Hey guys, Madam Ro here today, and I wanted to share with you a project that I created for a friend of mine. Um, and this is also a video response to um, Scrapper and Crafter, who is Harumi. Hi, Harumi! On YouTube, she tagged me in a new and unique kind of uh, tag challenge. I think that's what she titled it. Um, and where we had to create something and not use any flowers. And you guys know how much I'm addicted to making rolled roses and putting it on my projects. So I was so tempted to add flowers to this project that I'm about to share with you. But um, I was good and I went ahead and uh, not used any flowers. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I created. So here is what I created. And it is an altered letter that I got from Michaels. It was in the dollar bin. Um, it's the letter Z. And I'm also, I'm giving a rack. I'm gonna have to lay it down this way because uh, it's hard to film this way. So yeah, I'll just lay it down. <laughs> anyway, I was um, I created this for my friend Zoa, who is loving scrapbooking here on YouTube. And you guys, I am like so bad because she she sent me a surprise rack for Valentine's Day. And I told her I would, uh, you know, send her something in return and thank her for um, sending me, you know, her beautiful stick pins and um, a few goodies. And here it is, about to be July, and I'm just now <laughs> having the time to make her something. So I'm so sorry, Zoe, that you had to wait so long. Um, life has just been really busy. I'm catching up. I have two more projects to make and I'm all caught up and I cannot wait to, to be finished so um, anyway let me stop rambling um, like I said this is a letter Z that I got from Michaels in the dollar bin and the papers that I used um, let me go get them because I have to show you um, the papers okay so the papers I use is the my minds I um, Find Your Rings and Fly collection. And you guys, I'm obsessed with this. I want to get the whole collection. I've been eyeing it for the longest. And on scrapbook steals, they had a good deal on them. So I snatched up the 6 by 6s just so I can see um, what they look like in person. And I absolutely love this paper line. It's very fun and, and um, you know, childlike kind of in a way. And um, I love the fact that their 6x6 six six pads are double-sided. So this is, um, I'll just flip through. And I used a lot of the papers already. Um, this paper stack, quickly. And you get three of each pattern. And this one is the Up and Away paper. And it comes with like a whole collection of like chipboard uh, stickers and all that stuff so I'm definitely gonna be getting the whole collection and this one is called sky's the limit and they have some fun papers in here as well and I use both stacks um, for this and I love this one's very fun little tickets and stuff so this this is the papers that I used for this um, and I have lately been obsessed with hot air balloons. <laughs> um, so I used the hot air balloon paper for the background and then I layered it with some of this yellow um, pattern paper to put on top. And like I said, I've been addicted to scrapple tiles lately. You guys have been seeing it in the majority of my projects. So I just spelled out her name here. Um, and then I spelled out fly up on top of the hot air balloon. And I used a variety of different papers to make this hot air balloon. Um, instead of making it all the way around, I kind of halved it so it can lean up against the Z. Let me show you the side. And then I added this like little ribbon here, little bow. Um, and then this trim, sorry you guys, I'm gonna lay it down. This trim is from MB Treasurista. I got that in my design team package and I just lined it across like so and then on the back I used just some pattern paper and then layered it with the blue um, hot air balloon paper to go on top so that's what I did there 
And then on top here, I just fussy cut some stuff out of the paper line. Um, and this one says, don't forget to look up. And then it says, you are my sunshine there. And this one just says, spread your wings and fly. And then it has like numbers and stuff at the bottom that kind of got covered up. And then I also fussy cut these two hot air balloons out of the paper line as well and just attached it up here. So that's what I did there. Um, and then there's this little measuring tape here. Let me put this back on auto focus. Um, right here, the numbers and stuff on it. And then I just cut this little sentiment out of the paper as well. It says, hold fast to your dreams. So I did that. And then I got this little lamp post in a rack. And I love these, so I'm going to be getting more. This is from Recollections. And I got this in a rack from um, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. I really appreciate it. So I gessoed. I did a lot of gessoing um, on here. That's what the white um, spackle <laughs> look is. Some gesso. And since I could not put flowers, you know, my other thing is putting pearls on everything. So I just added a few pearls um, on there. And then up here also, you can't really tell, I also um, added some gesso to give it some texture. Yeah, and you can't really, really tell. And so I like that this is uh, double sided. So, you know, the paper that's white it just leaves that kind of white back here. And I love that it still has the patterns and stuff um, from the back. So this is what I created for Zoa. I hope you like it, Zoa, and I'm so sorry that it took me forever to get this out to you. Laurel, I am working on your hot air balloon. I'm actually, you guys, gonna be doing a paper mache hot air balloon instead of doing this, and I'm gonna try to, and do a start to finish video on it, so that way you guys can see a different way um, to make a hot air balloon. And I have this great idea for her. Um, she sent me this beautiful hot air balloon that she made me, and uh, this was in, I think, February, March, sometime around there, too. And I'm just now getting to it, so I have hers, and then Nicole, I have her box to make, and I will be all caught up. And then I can start participating in people's challenges and, um, you know, doing more swaps and not overloading myself <laughs> anymore. So I'll give you guys one last look of this altered letter. I think it's very fun and shabby all at the same time, and I hope she likes it. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to go over to my blog and check out still photos um, of this. And you guys have an awesome day. Be sure to go and um, get these papers. I had to get them um, online because they don't have them at any stores, and that sucks because I was hoping that they had them at. Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but they don't. So um, you'd have to go online and get it. And I think scrapbook.com has them. So thank you guys for watching and have an awesome day. I Bye. almost forgot I had to tag three people. So um, the people I'm going to tag, and I'm actually going to tag people who I know always use flowers in their projects. Um, I'm going to tag Crafty Chica 87, who is Sabrina. I'm also going to tag. Gisela, who is Lavish Laces here on YouTube. And then I am also going to tag Liz Russell. So hopefully you guys will accept the challenge and I cannot wait to see uh, what you guys create um, when you participate, if you participate. So um, thank you guys for watching. Bye.